Greetings fellow crafters! Today I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment. It is a uh, measured experiment, but it's still a bit of an experiment for me. I'm going to attempt to seal a diamond painting. Stick around! Okay, so this is the journal that I got with my May uh, Easy Whim Diamond, Cra Diamond Painting Club. To me, it's similar names, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Painting Club, Diamond Painting Club box, which I will uh, put up in the eye up there. Uh, as you can see, I got it finished. I actually finished it on my lunch breaks at work <laughs> because it's nice and portable. And I'm really excited about it. I, I like it, but I'm afraid with ha opening it constantly that these guys are going to pop off. And there are some little spots where it's sticky. Like, it isn't sticky here, but if you get close to the diamonds in places, it's sticky. And I can see, like, hair and stuff getting stuck in that. So I wanted to seal Snow Sisters. Don't mind the noise. Emily is playing with a rainbow loom. Um, I wanted to steal to seal Snow Sisters, but I figured I should start with a, you know, easier to replace project in case it doesn't go well. I have watched videos on other people stealing, and one woman did, and I don't remember her name or her channel. If I can find it, I will link it in the eye right now. Did a bunch of experiments on sealing, and this was one of the two products that she found worked well for sealing. And this is, I'm going to put the lid back on for a second, it is Mod Podge Super Gloss. She found that a lot of the other ones took the sparkle out, and that's definitely not something you want from a diamond painting sealer. So I am going to be using Mod Podge Super Gloss, which I've been looking for everywhere. I couldn't find it on, I couldn't find it on, on uh, Amazon. I work in I've been looking for it anywhere that they might sell crafts. I haven't been able to find it. I finally did find it at Michael's, where I went in and and committed the cardinal sin of not bringing coupons. That was very dumb, but it's done. Not much I can do about it now. So I'm going to do it exactly the way she did it, and I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to drizzle a little bit on and then spread it out. I've got the pages and everything locked up in aluminum foil because that's what I had around to do so in. To try and keep them from getting any product on them. I have cut open a Dollarama bag to protect my work surface here because who doesn't have plastic bags around? Even if you are somebody who is militantly against plastic bags, you probably still have some that have crept into your house. And before COVID, I was militantly against plastic bags, but you know, even I forget. And a lot of my little collapsible ones seem to have gone MIA in the last few months. I normally had a bunch that I could tuck into my purse, but I don't even know where they are. <laughs> and a lot of places are getting really squirrely about bags. I actually gave Giant Tiger a lot, a big problem because they wouldn't, they gave me a hard time about bringing my reusable bag in, even though I never intended to require the cashier to use it. I just wanted it to carry my crap home because they're more comfortable when you're walking for distances. And I don't want to use up a plastic bag if I don't have to. I actually went on Facebook and called them out. They never did respond to me. Metro actually wouldn't let me bring mine into the bags. I had to leave my bags with my purchases from another store at the front of the store for them to guard while I went through the store. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. I didn't fight with the poor girl who had to tell me the policy because clearly she had nothing to do with making the policy, but it's a ridiculous policy. 
I get COVID-19 and you don't want to handle stuff that somebody else has handled, but at Walmart, that's just the policy we made. If you are, we prefer you to use our bags, but if you're going to bring reusable bags, uh, you have to bag your own groceries and they will wipe down whatever surfaces you put the bags down on afterwards, just in case. Whereas when I went to Giant Tiger, when they were giving me a hard time, I didn't even set my bags down on anything. I bought like three things. They set it down for me to pick up. I picked them up and put them in my bag. So it was no different than me bringing my purse in. So I was more than a little bit annoyed with them. But they gave me such a hard time about the bags. Especially when they were selling them still. They still had them for sale. But Yeah, that's, that's, I took them to task over that. I was not happy. And I'm not normally somebody who gives people a hard time. And I didn't give the people who I was dealing with a hard time because I know they're not the ones setting the policies. I have been that drone. I have had to tell people stupid policies. Getting into a fight with them is not going to help anything. leaving a lot of like cloudiness. I almost want to grab another thing and try and scooch some of this up. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some paper towel. Be right back. Okay, yeah, so it's gathered in large amounts in some areas, so I'm just gonna take the paper towel and dab some of it up. You can see it in the black here, right around these pearls. It's really thick there. And in theory I like thick, but I don't want it to obscure the diamonds. Yes, even though I am military, militarily against paper. Uh, reusable bag or single-use bags. I do have paper towel in my house. We don't use it that much. One of those giant Costco things, paper towel will last me a year or more. Okay. Feeling there's only so much good I can do here. All right. Okay. I think I have done more than enough damage. <laughs> Some places it looks like it's spooged on a little too much, and other places it doesn't look like there's enough. Like I said, this is an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and that's as much as I'm going to do. So I'm going to put my lid back on my Mod Podge. And it is Super Gloss that was recommended. She tried gloss and that did not work as well. Super Gloss was the one that was recommended. So I'm going to leave that overnight probably and we'll check on it tomorrow morning. See you then. Then you actually Welcome back. It is now the next day and I'm taking a look at this. I'm going to turn on my work lights here. A little bright. Um, to see whether or not I lost any of the sparkle on here from the Mod Podge. Um, I have to admit it's looking a little bit cloudy in places. You can still see the shine on them. Maybe I just need to up my technique. Because it's not everywhere, it's just a few places where the uh, Mod Podge built up, like here, around the teardrops. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's a little bit cloudy, but otherwise it seems to be sealed pretty well. 
see how the flexibility of this is. It is still pretty flexible, which is good because this has to open. I think this works okay. It's no longer tacky anywhere. I think I'm going to let it sit for a little while longer and go back to it. But yeah, there's a couple of spots where the Mod Podge built up that it's kind of cloudy now. But you can still see the shine in most places. I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to give it a little bit because it is a tiny bit tacky. Let's give it a little bit longer. Um, I'm, I apologize if this is going to be a little bit of a weird day for filming because my neighbors are doing some work. So I'm going to set this aside and let it cure for a little bit longer and see if that comes out any better. But I think it, that's what I'm going to end up with. Is it's a little bit cloudy in places where I let it build up too much. Or maybe let... So Emily gave me her peacock foot bookmark that she wants me to try and seal. So I'm going to maybe try with a different brush and see if that helps. Maybe with like an actual hairbrush and see if that helps. But thank you for joining me on this. Uh, I will check back in with you later and see how that goes. Okay, so it's actually been a few days. I've had to go to work and do, you know, life stuff so I can get back to this. And it is now completely dry. So I'm going to bring you in because my light is mostly focused around my work area, so I don't have great lighting to show you this any other way. But as you can kind of see, I think. Yeah, there's a bit of a haze on some of these, and some of these do not have great adhesion. Like, it's a bit of a haze and some buildup near some of them that I'm not that thrilled about. It's minor. It will probably only annoy me, but I think I'm going to try instead of a sponge brush. I'm going to go to a bristle brush for the next one that I'm going to seal. So let's take you back out a bit. And the next one that I'm going to seal is somewhere around here. This one. This is the bookmark that Emily did. She wants me to seal it so that it doesn't get dirty or things pop off it when she's using it because it, the base is pliable and it will be handled a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go get, I'm going to take this off, I think, the tassel. Okay. the tassel off so I don't accidentally get some of this Mod Podge on the tassel. I'm just going to saturate my brush and This came out of my Easy Win box as well, along with the journal. This is going to Emily because she reads more print books than I do. She has a Kindle. We both do. 
probably Caitlin will eventually get a Kindle. She's not as interested in reading. Caitlin is a very different little girl from her sister in many ways. Emily is the quiet, introvert book lover. Caitlin is very much an extrovert, which makes her kind of a strange one in our family. The happy extrovert is the strange one. Because both my husband and I are very introverted. Brian's not a big reader. Caitlin likes stories, but she prefers stories told in a more digestible format on film. Which is fine. Okay, so that's a really thin coat. And I think that's what I'm going to do for now. I will come back to it in a little while and decide if it needs any more. This is all leading up to me uh, doing Snow Sisters as a project. So that is that. I'm going to set this aside on the plastic and I'll come back to it in a little bit and see if it needs more work. Okay. Okay, so it's been a minute. Yesterday I put a layer of sealant on this. Let's tighten in a bit so you can see how it looks today. Okay. So, it's not tacky at all, it does appear to be sealed, and I don't see that cloudiness as much as I did with the journal. Where's my journal? Journal! I don't see the cloudiness like I'm seeing it over here with some of these gems. So I think that's probably the better way to do it. No pouring on, just slight, light coats. I may want to put another coat on this just to be safe, but I think we're pretty good. So that is sealed and it doesn't really look any different. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I am going to give that back to Emily so she can have a bookmark for her lovely book that she's reading. And I'm going to start making the inroads towards doing the larger painting because that was the whole point of this was I needed to seal Snow Sisters. And that is very encouraging. So thank you for joining me in this adventure in sealing paintings. I hope this was informative and helped you out. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, share it with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to those of you who have subscribed. You are very welcome here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.